you've already learned most of what you need to know about exponents. But there's just one more thing, and that has to do with what happens when you have exponents and parentheses. So here's the basic rule you're going to follow. Let's say you've got x, and it's raised to the m power. And then we take that whole thing, that x to the m, and we raise it to another power, to the n power. Well, what that's going to equal is x times the ex x raised to the exponent m times n. Let's do this with some real numbers. I've got x squared raised to the third power. What that means is I'm going to multiply the two exponents. So I'm going to have x raised to the 2 times 3. 2 times 3 is 6, so that means I have x to the 6th. Okay? What I'm doing is raising an exponent to a higher exponent, to another power, and that means we multiply them. Okay, let's look at some examples quickly. So here I've got x squared y to the third z raised to the fourth. And the point is this. This fourth power outside the parentheses applies to every one of the, of the variables that I have inside here. If there was a number, actually let's make this uh, 2 x squared y to the third z. It would apply to the 2 also. The 2 doesn't have an exponent, and neither does the z. But remember, if you don't see an exponent, that means the exponent is 1. So this is going to become 2 times 2 to the first, and the f this 1 is going to multi be multiplied by 4, so it's going to be 2 to the fourth, which you can write as 2 to the fourth originally, but then you might want to figure out that that's 16. I'm going to run out of room. Let me put that here. 2 to the fourth, and then x squared raised to the fourth power is x to the 2 times 4 is 8. y to the third raised to the fourth power is y to the 3 times 4, which is 12. And z to the first raised to the fourth power is z to the 1 times 4, which is 4. And again, you don't want to leave this 2 to the fourth like it is. You want to change that into 16. The same rule is going to hold true if you have division, if you have a fraction. So first of all, if I don't see an exponent, I'm going to write in a 1. And then I'm going to take this fourth power outside the parentheses and apply it to each of the exponents inside the parentheses. So this x squared over y to the third, z to the first, raised to the fourth power is going to be x to the eighth, that's 2 times 4, over y to the twelfth, that's 3 times 4, times z to the fourth, and that was 1 times 4. Okay, one more thing. There are a number of ways to do these problems, but the safest thing is going to be to follow your basic order of operations. So in other words, whatever you have in parentheses, see if you can simplify that first before you deal with the, with the exponent outside the parentheses. So I've got 3x to the third y squared over xyz, and that's all raised to the second power. So I'm going to take care of what's inside the parentheses first. The 3 will remain the same, but I've got x to the third over x, so that's like x to the first down here. I'm going to subtract this 1 from this 3, and I'll get x squared. I've got y squared over y, or y to the first, so that means I'll just have a y in the numerator. And the z is going to stay in the denominator. I'm going to put in little 1s as exponents for any place where I don't see an exponent. And now I can raise all of that to the second power, so 3 times 1, 3 to the first raised to the second power is 3 to the 1 times 2, or 3 to the second, or just 9. x squared to the second power, I'll multiply the 2 times the 2, and I'll get an x to the fourth. And then y to the first raised to the second power is going to be y squared, and that will all be over z to the first raised to the second power, 
which is z squared. Okay, now be careful with this. There's a lot of little steps and unfortunately there's no nice way that you can go back and check it. So be very careful. Check your work over on your own just by trying it a second time and making sure you get the same answer and then go and see if what you have agrees with what I've given you in the answer sheet. Okay, take care. See you next time.